morning. Thank you for having me today here. It's an honor to speak to in front of you. I think um, I'm go we're going to start. We're going to cover two topics. The first one um, is uh, a review of uh, the secondary amenorrhea, um, which as uh, adult endocrinologists we get to see uh, in the clinic quite oft often. So. Um, <laughs> Um, just a couple of words um, uh, regarding to the background um, um, and the physio physiology of the menstrual cycle. Um, we do know that is the result of a complex interaction between uh, hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the ovaries, and the uterus. And um, um, it is divided in two phases, the follicular phase, which uh, where we do see the growth of the abdominal follicle, followed by ovulation, and then the luteal phase comes in where um, uh, the uh, um, uterine lining uh, um, gets ready for implantation. If that doesn't happen, then the menstrual bleeding occurs. Um, this uh, picture. Okay. I'm sorry. Does this work? This is better. Okay. Um, so um, in this figure, um, this figure essentially um, uh, shows uh, what I just said before, and it goes over uh, the um, over the changes that happen at the follicular level on the on the top. Uh, bar, if you want, uh, followed by uh, the changes in the temperature, but then, uh, and then on the third bar are the um, uh, changes uh, in the uh, follicular stimulating hormone levels and the LH levels, and you can see the LH surge, which uh, essentially is responsible for ovulation. The next bar um, shows the changes in the estrogen and progesterone levels, and right on the bottom you can see the changes in the endome uh, endometrial lining. Uh, thickening. As far as definition, the secondary amenorrhea uh, is defined as absence of menses for more than three months uh, in girls and women who had previously regular cycles, and more than six months or six months or more in girls and women who had previously irregular cycles. Um, there are multiple causes, and the most common one is physiologic, is pregnancy. Um, as far as pathological causes, probably the most common one is PCOS, followed by hypothalamic amenorrhea. Hyperprolactinemia is another common cause. Ovarian insufficiency, uh, previously um, named uh, uh, primary ovarian failure, and then other endocrinopathies can be associated with uh,